Howdy, howdy, Eldritch Buddies. This is Kiwi Calamity, and today we are going to talk about how mining has changed in 1.18. Basically, ores now spawn in varying levels, so you really need a plan based on what you're going after. But I know that can be a lot to memorize, so I'm just gonna make you an easy guide. We'll talk about how to figure out the distribution graph, where each material is going to spawn, and a few strategies for finding them all. It's easier than it looks. But, you know, I make tutorials like this with every update, so subscribe if you like the vibes. But before I go on, hi, in case you're new, Y levels refer to up and down coordinates in Minecraft. To see them, press F3, and look here, this is Y level. Now, let's move on. Not going to lie, the distribution graph looks a little bit complicated. It's color-coded, but these two yellows are very similar. What are the triangles? But don't panic. It's not as bad as it seems. The widest point of the triangle shows off the most likely Y level that you can find ores. Then, at the narrower points, it shows the rarest Y levels that the ore can still be spawned at. For example, Redstone spawns most commonly at around Y-64. If there's more than one triangle of a color, that means that that particular ore can spawn at varying levels, with a gap between them usually. Iron, for instance, can spawn in three different Y ranges, making it one of the more common ores in the game. Gold spawns in two, diamond spawns in one, and etc. But what are these squiggles? Well, these are the most likely places that the very rare ore veins are likely to spawn. But the big draw with these is that you can find raw ore blocks of material and a stupid amount of the ore itself. If you find one, you're stacked in that material. They also wind up and down in all directions. So if you think you've come to the end of an ore vein, dig around a little bit and make sure. There may even be more copper or iron for you to get. But sadly, those are the only veins available so far. There's no diamond or gold veins yet. We can only hope. Now, each of these veins has a particular look to them. Copper veins come embedded in granite. So keep your eyes out for a lot of both together. And if you see the raw ore blocks, obviously that's a pretty good indicator of that much. Copper ore veins also generate above Y0. So if you see deep slate, you've gone too far. Iron veins come paired with tough. So if you start seeing a lot of tough and some iron, well, you probably just won the iron lottery. That sounds like a cool dystopian book novel. Dibs. <laughs> Iron ore veins spawn above Y0, so this time if you see Deep Slate, you're on the right track. Just dig a bit deeper. But what do the dashed lines mean? Well, this means there are special cases for when that particular ore generates. This may mean an increase for when they're in particular biomes, or you can find it at different levels more commonly. For example, only in the Badlands biomes can gold spawn this much, and the same with emeralds and mountains, but it seems that emeralds could only be found in mountains now. Also, the graph doesn't show it, but geodes only spawn around Y-30 now, so I feel like some of the builders would want to know that. It's not here, but I'll like put a little purple dot like, boop. There you go. That's not exactly obvious, but like, whatever. I feel like it should have been on the graph. Now let's move on to some strategies for how to find specific materials. I'm going to use the graph because I'm a visual person, but I'll link a wiki that has the exact numbers and spawn ranges here in case we have some numbers people. Now, with all that in mind, do you really need anything so complex or to memorize all the numbers? Not really. We can just group ores into categories based on what you want to mine and then look for those certain places. For example, you'll notice that coal, iron, and even emerald all share high altitudes for their peaks. <laughs> Puns aside, you'll generally want to look for mountains to mine for them. Stony peaks will probably have your best visibility, but any old mountain will do for its sheer height. Though you can basically find iron everywhere, it's just rarer. But the best Y level for all the above is generally Y232. Now copper and lapis lazuli also share some common spawn points too. So mining between Y40 and 48 will give you the best chance to find lapis if you're looking for both but more likely you'll be looking for gold and lapis for enchantments. Generally, you'll want to stick around Y0 for a decent curve for both. And diamonds? Well, the lower you go, the better your odds. The peak for diamonds is at the very bottom of the world around Y-54. Also, air exposure is now limited, meaning you used to be able to see them a lot in these big hollow caves and just sticking out, but nowadays you'll often find them embedded into stone and hidden. I, 
I guess that was for balancing. Either way, redstone is also the most common at the bottom of the world, same as diamonds. The biomes to look out for are dripstone for boosted copper, mountains are the only place you can find emerald, and badlands significantly boost your odds for gold. But in case that's hard to remember, I've made you a little rhyme. Ahem. <coughs> Mountains are your goal, if you want emerald, iron, or coal. For copper and lapis, open the gate, look in Y40 and 48. Lapis and gold, look in Y0, you shouldn't have to be told. For veins of copper and iron ore, look in opposite spectrums, that's the lore. For copper, above the Y, and iron below it, don't you know this? To remember where they came from, here's a pun. It's tough to find iron ore veins, but don't take the copper ones for granite. Dig to the bottom all alone, and there you'll find diamond and redstone. And if you want geodes too, look around Y32. <laughs> It's not the best rhyme, but I hope it gets stuck in your head like a little worm and helps. But as you can see, the new chart's not so bad. You can look at all the numbers and memorize them, but you don't have to. You can just visually figure out where you need to go to mine for specific ores. You do need a bit more of a plan for different materials, but it's not so bad as the chart makes it seem. I hope I helped a little. Bye bye And subscribe if you